Welcome to another video of Tyke. Today we will work on demonstrating CICD using Jenkins and Tyke Sync. Tyke Sync and Jenkins provide an automated way of pushing API definitions and policies to different Tyke environments. Tyke Sync is a command line tool and library to manage and synchronize a Tyke installation with your version control system. It can be used to back up your most important API gateway configurations as code and deploy these configurations to any target and ensure that API IDs and policy IDs will remain consistent, ensuring that any dependent tokens continue to have access to your services. So as we demo CICD, we will also have to deploy the Type 2 environment. The bootstrapping process uh, will install all the necessary plugins, and once it's bootstrapped, we can demonstrate the CICD functionality. So we are going to go ahead and deploy this. This is going to take um, several minutes. So as you see it bootstrapping along, don't worry. It's completely normal for it to take uh, several minutes. All right, after several minutes, you'll have your uh, take demo completely bootstrapped. You'll be provided links to your Git T, which you can see right here. And as you can see, there's really nothing in there as of right now. We'll also be given a username and a password. I'm already logged in, but you are welcome to log in. And we will have access to our Jenkins. And in addition, we will also have our dashboard. So we can go ahead and get that. And we can log ourselves in. You'll want to make sure that you have a um, token so you can run the Tyke demo. And you will also be given a username and a password. As you can see, I have four days remaining on my license, so make sure you um, get your license or update your license if needs be. So we are in our uh, dashboard and you can see that there is nothing in there. We have zero APIs. Our Jenkins is right here. There really isn't very much information in there. So now what we want to do is we are going to use our type sync to extract the API and policy definitions. So when this data is added, it can be committed and pushed to Git T so it can be consumed by Jenkins. So let's go ahead and do this. All right. Okay, so now that we added the data with our last command, it's now ready to be committed and pushed to Git T so it can later on be consumed by Jenkins. So we're going to go ahead and run this command. And this is going to add the commit and push the changes to the Git T server. So if we go over to Git T, we can see that as of 14 seconds ago, there were changes made. And it is now present and uh, Jenkins will now be able to process it. So what we're gonna do is if I hit build now, what I'm expecting to happen is that all of these APIs and policies will now be added to my API gateway for me. Um, and this might also take a little bit of time, but you'll be able to see it populate just like that.
And now we have pushed the APIs and policies into the Tyke 2 environment. And there you have it. Thank you so much for watching.